the Equal Pay Act of 1963, issued by John F. Kennedy, made it illegal to pay men and women different wages for equal effort, skill, responsibility, and conditions. However, discrimination remained. The Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act was signed into law in 2009. It put a 180-day limit for making a claim on pay discrimination. For 10 years, Lilly Ledbetter fought for equality of all genders and races. On January 29, 2009, President Obama signed the first piece of legislation of his administration, the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act of 2009. First of all, it is fitting that the very first bill that I signed the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Restoration Act. The Fair Pay Act is designed to break the barriers of inequality between genders and minorities in the workplace by prohibiting sex-based wage discrimination between men and women in the same establishment and perform jobs that require sustainably equal skill, effort, and responsibility under similar working conditions. For 19 years, Lilly Ledbetter had been given a lower salary than those of her male colleagues. She finally decided to put an end to the discrimination of females and minorities in the workplace, and she sued Goodyear Tire & Co. All the way home the next morning, I debated, do I really want to take a stand? The easy thing to do was let it go. But that's not who I am. And I told my husband, I have to file a charge in Birmingham, Alabama. And I will tell you up front, if I start, I'll be in it at least eight years. On April 14, 1938, the Ledbetter versus Goodyear Tire and Co. case was addressed to the court. The circuit court ruled that only Ledbetter's last annual salary review could be acknowledged by the jury. The circuit court found no evidence of gender discrimination, saying that Ledbetter would have needed to file within 180 days of discriminatory salary rescission, and therefore, she had lost the case. In 2009, the case was addressed to the court yet again, and President Obama signed it into a law. The law was named as the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act of 2009. After signing this law, Obama stated, It is fitting that with the very first bill I signed, we are upholding one of this nation's first principles, that we are all created equal, and each deserve a chance to pursue our own version of happiness. Chairman George Miller had stated, A key provision of the legislation will make it clear that discrimination occurs not just when the decision to discriminate is made, but also when someone becomes subject to that discriminatory decision and when they are affected by that discriminatory decision, including each time they are issued a discriminatory paycheck. Ledbetter's case had been referenced by federal judges in 300 other cases before the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act was passed. These cases include Title VII of the Civil Rights Act, Age Discrimination and Employment Act, Fair Housing Act, Patsy T. Mink Equal Opportunity and Education Act, and Eighth Amendment to the Constitution. The Lilly Ledbetter Act very clearly relates to breaking barriers. This act gave more rights to female individuals, and soon there are more rights than ever for women. Not only did it break the barriers for women, but it paved the way for the LGBTQ community who are also treated unfairly. Now, in 2019, if a woman has the same skills and job as a man, they will be paid the same, no exceptions.